How's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the streaming application to your Fire TV Stick device. And the whole process is actually pretty simple. So first of all, what you gotta do is get the app code downloader to your Fire Stick. You can get downloader free of charge, just go to search on your device and start typing downloader in your search bar. And as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. Let's click on it. And now that's the app that you gotta get to your device. But after you got downloader, it's not over yet because you still have to set it up on your Fire Stick device. So to set up downloader, we'll go to settings on your Fire Stick by clicking this button with a gear icon. Then we scroll down and go to my Fire TV. Let's open it. And now in here, you will have to turn on developer options for your Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. You open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install on apps. And from here, all you have to do is locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally we go to the list of apps on the Fire TV Stick, we open it up, and here's the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using the downloader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing, and it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they are super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use, and they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to UK right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important, if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we go back to the list of apps on your device, we open it up, and finally launch Downloader. So here we go, open Downloader, then go to the search bar and start typing in the link, which will be streamia.com. So that's pretty simple, just enter streamia.com in your search bar, just like that. And here you go, so enter the link, and then click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks. Then you have to click on that white sandwich button in the top, go to downloads page, it should load for us in a couple of moments. And now let's scroll down a bit, and if we are using Fire Stick, then what you gotta do is get that first version of the app, which is Streamia 1612 ARM APK in our case. So let's click on it and now the load of the app will start. Usually that doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. 
Then click install and just wait on until Streamia get gets fully installed on your Fire TV stick. And then don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we get an option to delete the installation files, which we don't need anymore on your Fire stick. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary files from the Fire stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And then let's go to the list of apps and here you will finally get to use Streamia. So first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's gonna be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.